So last month, Harrison was able to get a BNC session on Darren's computer using Metasploit. However, Darren today is going to show us how to do this the legit way through a computer network. So why don't you show us what you got, man? Right. Well, I'm going to take a few steps back. Yeah, last month, Harrison did get VNC access on my computer using Metasploit, and it, it was kind of cool. But what I've done is I've dug in, and this is one of these tools that I use to administrate a huge network of computers, and it comes in a lot of handy. Uh, first, take a step back. VNC uh, is a remote desktop application. It allows you to remotely log into somebody's computer, and you can use the mouse keyboard. You see what's on their screen. It's really nifty. Right. Um, so it's a lot like RDP. It's just like remote desktop protocol okay. and Windows, um, and it's also similar to like things like GoTo My PC and stuff. But it's open source. It's really neat, and there's a really uh, there's a lot of great tools for it. And this is one of those that I love. All right. Uh, this is called Fast Push, and it's from Dark Age. .co.uk, and it's a great little tool that allows you to remotely install it on a Windows network. So if you're running a Windows computer and you're on the network and I need to get to your computer, then I could use this tool, if I had your administrator password, to, um, to install the VNC service on your computer and then log in. Okay, I'm going to show you how it's done. It's really simple. All right. So here we go. We've got fast push open. This is it's the, uh, just extract the zip throw it in the root, and uh, it supports a lot of different VNC distributions. There's you know, the regular real VNC, various versions of that, as well as Ultra VNC, uh, Z VNC, and my favorite, Type VNC. Now see, that's where I have a little question for you. I don't really mm -hmm. know a lot about the different VNCs. Uh, there's so why don't you give me a little idea of sure. users like myself. Well, there's the real VNC, which is the original one created by AT&T Labs. Okay. There's uh, Type VNC, which is kind of like a spin-off on that. And each VNC distribution kind of has its own little spin on VNC. Uh, type VNC is really cool because it has like JPEG compression. So if you're on a slower network, you know, it may not look as good, but it'll allow you to get the job done yeah. a lot quicker. Uh, I um, and then ZVNC and Ultra VNC have their own little features, but I mainly just stick to the real distribution and the tight distribution. All right. Okay? Gotcha. And so we've extracted everything here, so we'll go over to a command prompt. And it's real simple. The command is uh, fast push 8 or FP8. And that'll bring up this nice little uh, splash screen here where we can set our options. It's pretty easy. We just enter in an IP address of the computer on the network that we want to install it on. So in this case, it's 192.168.1.139. And then we're going to give it, uh, we're going to tell what version of VNC we want to install. In All this right. case, it's going to be real337. And then we need to give it a username. And that would be administrator. You need to make sure that the user that you're installing this with has administrative access on that machine. And then the password. And then we're going to give it, uh, we're going to say PWD. And this will be the password for the VNC server. So I'm just going to call it test. OK, so press Enter. Let's see. And it goes ahead, connects to the remote machine, and installs this. So I don't actually have to go to that machine. So yeah. if I'm on a huge network with hundreds of computers, and I know which computer I need you know, to install it on, it's great. Well, or see, from a programmer's standpoint, I could see what you just did, get all of what I need, all of the computers if I want to install it at one time and do yeah, it's, it's from great. a job, right? Yeah, I could you know, create a, a job to install on all the machines across the network if you have the administrator password for all of those. Right. And it makes systems administration a breeze. So everything's installed. And I'm going to go ahead and fire up VNC Viewer, connect to that machine, and password. There we go. Wow. And uh, that was slick. That was really. And fast now I'm too. on my machine at home. I like that. It's really really cool. There's also one little thing that I'd uh, I'd like to mention, and that is with um, there's on the Dark Age homepage there's a uh, a little tweak for the 337 version of uh, Real VNC, which has this cool little feature where it replaces the uh, the regular VNC service so that it doesn't have a tray icon. And with That's some other cool. and with some of the other uh, switches that you can use um, with fast push, mm -hmm. it allows you to like turn off uh, putting icons on the desktop and in the start menu. So you could put kind of like a silent installation of VNC on your computer or your friend's computer. That is really awesome. I really appreciate that. I learned a little something new. If you guys are interested in learning more about this, make sure you visit the show notes, and we will see you there.